Let's keep cringe out of the car scene. Why is it so hard? Why is it now that every time I open up Instagram and I go on the explore page, it's nothing but cringe? Like one thing social media has done that's a positive and a negative is you're able to reach people all over the world at just a click of a button. And sometimes those, those videos in your head sound better in your head than when they're executed on camera. Today we're going to look at some cringy car TikToks from Car TikTok Cringe on Instagram. If you guys want to see more car cringe, go to his Instagram page. I will link it down below. But let's see. We'll try to rate these on a scale from 1 to 10 on their cringiness. Prepare to cringe. It's, it, it's, it, oh, it's going to be bad. All right. Uh, let, let, let's start with the most recent. All right. Uh, the word, one of the worst. One of the worst car trends in recent times the i'd rather walk trend where they they typically post their car and then it has like a massive glow up and you're supposed to be like whoa you know like look at that i'm sorry i underestimated you let's see let's see this audi glow up right here <laughs> I'm walking, I'm taking the bus, I'm doing everything, man. I'll Uber there, I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm doing everything but riding in this Audi. I, I Honestly, honestly, I'll ride those little fucking electric scooters that everyone hates. I'll ride one of those than to pull up in this Audi, man. This, Oh my god, you got the Amazon wing, you got the stupid ass tow hook. It's never gonna be used. I mean, unless this thing is broken down, which, I mean, it is an Audi, so realistically, it actually it might get used. But that's gonna be the only purpose, you know. You're not you're not towing this thing on and off the track. What did he do? Wide body wheels, wrap, and some shitty arrow. Sick build. Rather walk, man. I'll crawl wherever I gotta go. I'll crawl through glass than to ride in that. This all right. I, that one wasn't that bad. I mean, the, at least he put some time and effort into his car. It's not gonna be nearly as bad as this next one. I could just feel it. Same trend, different car. Let's take a look. <laughs> Who is this dude right here, man? In, in in the in the Sentra? In the Sentra, bro, one of my old neighbors, man, as a kid. This was the car he had. Uh, he wasn't a car guy, it was just a normal NPC. And and that's exactly what this car is, man. It's an NPC car. It's not something you're supposed to modify. Painting it white or wrapping it white and blacking out your trunk, man. That's that's not a build. That's not a build. Yeah, start walking then, bro. I'm, I will literally amputate my legs and just bleed out wherever I gotta go. Like the last one was bad, but this one was really bad. This one, I I have no intentions of going anywhere. This one, I will stay put. Don't care. That was bad. That was pretty bad. That's one trend with like car TikTok cringe. It's usually just NPCs. It's usually just these these fucking bots posting like these shitty ass reels that they think are gonna go viral and hit. And they might go viral, but it's for like all of the wrong reasons. So let's get let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, I didn't even rate them. This one's definitely worse than the last one. That's the last one on the cringe scale was like a seven. This is like an eight or a nine. This is horrible. I hope he's joking. Alright, let's take a look at this. So I can't read the caption on this one, so luckily a subscriber tagged me on the real one. Let's take a look at the OG. It says, me thinking my shitbox is sitting pretty. God, thinking? You're thinking? Y you've got something loose in your head if you think that's sitting pretty. Why do you need three toe straps? Do you not know the function of what you have on your front bumper? You also have like an S for sport, which... I don't, need I say more but like you don't need three forms of towing not on the front bumper especially not attached to your cheap plastic bumper this one might be legit that one might go through to your actual support these the little straps down here not doing anything what else is he having your stuffed animals you fucking 12 You guys aren't even on the same continent. You guys aren't even on the same planet, man. You're in a you're in a Kia Soul. You're in the hamster car. You're you're in the hamster mobile. You should just drive around in a hamster suit, because then at least it would be funny. But instead, I I hope I really hope I really hope this is a joke. I find it very hard to believe. You know what? I I will do a deep dive really quick. Let's just click on the profile. I'm not gonna go too deep. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not doing a deep dive. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. 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 Maybe another day. Not doing a deep dive today. That was bad. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Just like talk about being completely like oblivious 
Like, I guarantee you're the eyesore in the owner of the GTR's eyes. Like, when he looks out his window and he sees that, he's like, oh my god, I'm so happy I didn't eat lead paint as a kid. I'm so happy, like, I wasn't dropped on my head. Just next time, just make a reel of just the GTR. That's what we want to see. We just want to see the R35. We don't want to see the Kia Soul. <laughs> this comment, swear to God, I just liked like 30 hate comments. Oh my God, I'm not even going to read them. Let's move on. What does this one say? Parents be like, stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Like, bro, I'll max out my speedometer and really give you something to cry about. What song does he have playing in the background? Mama, sister, wanna fuck me, TT, gotta get in line. Okay, I don't even want to hear that. Yeah, in your Chevy Cruze. Is this a Chevy Cruze? It looks like a Chevy Cruze. It might be a Camaro. I think it's a fifth gen Camaro, actually. Yeah. Um, are you going to max out the Speedo? I'm, I'm betting money it's a V6. I can just tell. This is V6 activities right here. You got your mom's used panties right here. You got a shit stain on them. This is, this is V6 Mustang, V6 Camaro activities right here. Fuel range, 13 miles. You should probably go fill up. You should probably stop making TikToks and go drive to the gas station and fill up. He's only making, he's only going 40 too. Like he's not even doing anything. He's just going 40 and he's in an auto because he's, he's not shifting. He's got paddles. Yeah. You're driving an automatic V6. You don't need that radar detector. Who, what, what do you need the radar detector for? This, this thing is barely speed, man. What are you doing? And, and, and then like the whole caption to stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Like, bro, I'll max out my speedometer and you really give like what? So your parents were mad at you. So you're going to threaten death. Fucking idiots, man. These people are so stupid. It just hurts my head. This is nine out of 10 cringiness right here. Nine out of 10. The last one, 10 out of 10. The Kia Soul, 10 out of 10 cringiness. What's this shit? Some people hate seeing these big trucks on the road. But Some people? I think most people hate seeing these big trucks on the road. But to most, it's their passion. That was the most ass backwards caption ever. Some people hate seeing these big trucks on the road, but to most, it's their passion? Shouldn't that be fucking backwards? Most people hate seeing these big trucks on the road, but to some, it's their passion. That makes way more sense. Also, what the fuck color schemes are we going with? Is the camera just like really undersaturated or are you guys doing black and pink? Because it looks like black and pink on camera. I mean, you do you, bro. I mean, you cruising around with your man. I don't know. I mean, I'm not judging. It's 2023, but you know, it's cute. You and your boyfriend got matching trucks. That's pretty cute. You know, I support that. I ship it. I think that's what they say. Yeah, that was the most ass backwards caption ever. Holy crap. What's this shit? We love our NPCs. Let's take a look. Are these NPCs? NPC, sort of. I mean, I mean that can be turned into something cool just half the time. It's just a shitty takeover car. Let's see the rest. Um, yeah, uh, you got the Honda badge on the Acura. Yeah, that's pretty N NPC activity. That's definitely an NPC. NPC color, matte black hood, stock wheels, but lowered it. NPC as can be and then you have like the cookie cutter 16 year olds car just graduated high school How is the nicest car in the lineup the fucking FRS that has to be a sorry ass lineup if the nicest car there is the 86 That's a pretty sorry lineup like that is embarrassing right there You got one dude dressing up his fucking Acura with fucking bandanas like it's a Barbie doll You got the Ken doll edition right here, and then you have two fucking salvage title infinities and then a, a GT86, a bone stock GT86. And I, this is one thing I hate a lot. Like, you guys take off your front plates as if, you know, it looks good. But you just see the holes of where the plates should be. Like, it looks especially bad on the fucking 8.6. You have four polka dots up there. You might as well just run it or fill that shit in. I think you could buy fucking plugs to it. Look, just do anything. Just do anything. And then, and then, and then, if you're going to take it off, don't put it in your window. At that point, who gives a fuck? You got it in your window like a clown, man. People are all backwards, man. I'm just praying that they're like 15-year-olds or something. I don't know. That's like the only, like, saving grace for them is maybe they're just young and dumb, you know? The difference between you and me is that when you wake up, your nightmare ends. Oh, my God. That has to be the corniest thing I've heard all day. Let's see what his nightmare is. <laughs> No excuses, sports. I know why you're having a nightmare all the time. You're driving around in a fucking BMW. Duh. I bet it's just a 328i as well. If this is a 335i, man, the N54 car scene is getting pretty sad. This is pretty embarrassing. A bad look for BMW owners everywhere. The difference between you and me is when you wake up, your nightmare ends.
that's like the corniest thing. Like some dude really typed that out and thought it was a good idea with this shitty fucking clip of his car. He's in a fucking parking lot alone filming this. I almost feel bad for making fun of some of these people. I swear, I almost feel like an ounce of, of, of sadness for him, but whatever. I mean, they posted it up there. You know, people can have opinions. Uh, corniness or cringiness on a scale from one to ten. I was like, seven and a half. It's not that bad. I mean, the car looks all right. It might be a 335, which makes it a little bit better, but it's still corny. I don't care. It could be a GTR. It would still be pretty corny. What's the next one? I'd rather walk. Oh, I love this trend now. This has to be my favorite trend. All right, let's see what the Civic Transform. Let's see the Civic Transform. Everyone type in the chat right now. Let's see the Civic Transform. Here we go. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm not even walking at this point. I'm not leaving the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I already said I was crawling through glass for the other ones and then amputating my legs. This one, this one with the bacon fenders with the fucking shitly rolled fenders. This one, you couldn't even buy the proper offset fucking wheels. You had to roll your fenders. You had to have your homie roll your fucking fenders. Just like he rolls you up in a blanket and tucks you in every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, just so I don't have to ride in this one, I'll commit a crime, get sent to jail for years on end, just so I don't have to ride in this car. That's what I would do. Not amputate my legs, not crawl through glass. I'm going to be locked up in solitary confinement just to not ride in this Honda Civic. You really took off your front grill because you thought it would look hard. It looks like you got in a front end collision, honestly. It looks like you got in a front end collision. Look at that shit. It's missing its front grill. It's got a shitty little wing. It's got cute little louvers and stupid aftermarket wheels that don't even fucking fit. Rather walk. You should be walking, honestly. I bet that shit ain't safe. I bet that shit ain't safe. All right, let's see this one. Why do you always call yourself Batman? This one, I don't even know what to expect for this one. I've never even seen this one. So, let's see. It's so white, you're shy. Oh my fucking God. Who's hitting you up? Because people only hit me up when they need something. Yeah, it means you're probably a pretty boring or shitty person, you know? I mean, look it. They definitely don't need help aligning their panels because you got some massive hood gap. Definitely don't need, you know, help aligning their hella horns because those horns are crooked as shit. Definitely don't need help building a nice looking car because there ain't one here. They're hitting you up just because, you know, they got nothing better to do. Let's be, let's be real here, you know? They ain't got that. You're, you're last on the list. You know, like when you're planning a day and you're like, oh, let's invite Kevin. Oh, let's invite... You know, whoever, Harold, let's invite, you know, Jeff, right? And then all the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom, should Henry come? Fuck. I mean, if he sees us all us, uh, if he sees us all out, he's going to get mad in the chat. Yeah, let's hit him up. Hey, Henry. Fucking instant replies. He might even double text, you know? Goofy. Goofy. Cringiness, one through ten, that's an eight. I'm going to say that's an eight. All right, what's this one? <sighs> You drive fast to flex in front of others. I drive fast only when I'm alone to see if the devil over my shoulder has enough balls to keep up. Oh my God. In the fucking VW. In the VW. The, the, the song was just yelling to um, the box by what's his name? Roddy Richard. I forgot his name. Anyways. To see if the devil on my shoulders has balls to keep up. He's having, he's got, he could fucking keep up with this thing in a Honda Odyssey, man. You're in a fucking Golf or a Jetta. I don't even know. All I know is VW ain't making no like quick sports cars, you know? They got their little hatch, but they ain't got shit that turns neck. Devil, devil ain't going nowhere, man. He'll be right there, you know, when you come to a, a, a complete stop. My camera overheated, so we're going to go to the next one. But, you know, must have been the devil. The devil overheated my camera, you know? This guy's got an angel looking out for him. All right, what is... Oh, my God. What is this shit right here, dude? What the fuck? This this better be a meme. Do I remind you of your daddy in his 84? Labrador hanging out the passenger door. Those have to be two of the stupidest looking fucking trucks I've ever seen. Like, not a single thing on this truck looks good. Both of them look like fucking dog shit. You guys know in Step Brothers, the movie, you know, when the dog shit is dried up and they make them lick it? That, that's these two trucks right here. They were just licking these two trucks. They had a starring role in that fucking movie. Two giant white turds. These comments, man. I love comments on this page. What in the cousin loving fuck is slide two? Seriously. What the fuck? Even if you had flares, I don't think the wheels would look good, man. It's just too wide, too stupid. Probably like the owners. God, that's horrible. All right, let's move on. 
What is this one? I can't read it, but it says, The day I actually get mad and let out my anger, that day you will realize why I used to avoid fights. Of Av You didn't spell avoid right. You probably avoided fights because you don't know how to fucking read, you idiot. Oh, it's another VW. Look at that. Oh my god, so sick. Let's just throw in a clip of my fucking shitty ass car and put on some lame ass caption and just call it a fucking day. I'm a TikTok star. I'm a creator. I'm a car content creator, guys. This is... I'm gonna turn on my camera for this because I'm just so upset. It's probably cooled down by now. This is why I just can't stand, like car tiktokers they're not all bad there's good ones okay i have tiktok i don't use it too often i'll just like look at memes that my girl sends me or i'll send some memes to my boys don't use it for cars like really at all because this is what car tiktok is like like this this is why i'm not a huge fan there are obviously good car tiktokers but majority garbage straight garbage i'm gonna put in a clip of my car and just put a fucking lame ass caption i can't even make that shit up. Laziest content ever. Oh, another guy with his mom's dong. Parents gonna be like, oh, it's the same thing. This guy got in his fucking old gen charger, Avenger, whatever it is, caliber. Got in his older Dodge. Put on the fucking thong. Might be his. He might have just took it off just to make this thing really quick. I wouldn't doubt it. Driving around in his automatic. In slide, so we know that, you know, he ain't doing nothing cool. And just copied someone else's shit that's another reason why i don't like car tiktoks it's just the same thing just regurgitated on someone else's page there's like no originality it's like oh i saw someone else post something like this i can go out there and do the same thing how awkward would it be to ask your mommy to borrow her thong does she know you took it she probably doesn't know you should probably return that asap what's this one who cares if you don't have a thigh gap and your thighs touch i'm gonna separate them for you anyways in what in that in, in who are you pulling in that who are you pulling if whoever you're pulling they're they're gonna be a victim okay you're not pulling anyone voluntarily in that nobody's gonna see that and be like wow nice car the only person who would say nice car to that is someone suffering with a very low iq it looks like it wants to be a subaru so bad like it looks like it wants to be a wrx to go out there and get one i could tell you want one just go out there and get one i ain't separating nobody's thighs <laughs> All right, we'll do like one more. Let's see. If he doesn't get excited when he sees a cool car anymore, what's gonna be the second caption? Any day now, bucko. You better check on that MF. You're in a Civic. What do you classify as a cool car? You have the Hoonigan plate on a Civic. Oh, this is one reason why I don't sell like plates. Or like plate frames. No offense. I love all you guys. But it just don't represent my brand if somebody's posting it with something like this. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. It does not represent my brand. I will, however, start selling stuff like that eventually. Um, I just I, I haven't gotten around to it. I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> There's a reason why I make YouTube videos. It's not because I have the drive to become a doctor. Anyways, yeah. Um, cool cars, huh? We're lacking cool cars in this damn TikTok. Cringe level, 9 out of 10. Night, because if it was a good night, I would wake up to her putting her, you're even talking about, putting her dick down your guzzler? What the fuck is wrong with people, man? I really hope that's a typo. Whatever, man. I don't even. Is this your attempt to be funny? Is, is this, is this, is this. Once again, the recipe of a shitty video of my shitty fucking car with some lame ass caption slash joke under it. Just car TikTok cringe, ladies and gentlemen. This shit is ass. All right, we'll do this last one though. Well, we got some gap right here, I guess. I don't know. There you go. Yep, fixed it. Fixed it on your stock fucking bumper on your stock BMW, you fucking doorknob. Sometimes it baffles me how stupid people are. It's a shitly mass-produced economy, everyday folk, NPC BMW. And you're going to just think that, oh, I need to fix the fucking panel gap. If it was a nice car, it wouldn't have panel gap. It's just that simple, you know? The build quality ain't there like it used to be. They don't build them like they used to, especially not for this piece of shit. God, look at the wrap job, too. It's just, you should fix that first, you know? You should honestly fix the fucking fingers in your wrap. You should probably fix that and choose a different color. Looks like you skinned Patrick Starr and just wrapped your car with his fucking carcass. 
One thing you should never do to like a stock car is wrap it a bright fucking color because it looks so stupid. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you for today. If you guys want to see some more cringe, click the link down below and go check out car TikTok cringe. Yeah, it's going to be a while before I do another one of these again because that was painful. That was painful. Hopefully, people won't be as lazy anymore on TikTok or else you might end up in a video like this. And we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you. Anyways, subscribe and until next video, peace.